Hello, in this video I'll show you how to run web applications with Pyra platform inside a Docker container on AWS Cloud. We'll be using AWS Elastic Beanstalk service, which is very easy to configure to run uh, Docker containers. I assume that you already have your application to deploy. So we'll start with the directory that contains uh, a sample application.var. We'll create a new Docker file. And the Docker file will be based on uh, the standard Pyra server Docker image. We'll expose the HTTP port 8080. This is required by Elastic Beanstalk in order to find out which port to map to the load balancer so that the application can be exposed to the outside world. We also need to copy our application package into the deploy tier directory where Pyra server uh, finds applications to deploy and we'll also specify an additional deploy props and the environment variable in order to modify how the application is deployed. We, we need to specify the context root, the default context root, so that it's uh, deployed on the default URL and Elastic Beanstalk automatically connects health checks, uh, health checks to the application. With this docker file and the application package inside the directory, we are ready to deploy the application. In, uh, to deploy the application, we'll use uh, Elastic Beanstalk command line tool, which is available on GitHub. You can also find the link in the, the AWS Beanstalk documentation. The tool uh, is available uh, in source code form and you can download it uh, using git or using a zip file and unpack the zip file. Below you will find the instructions to install it. For some systems you need some prerequisites, some dependencies to install before you install the tool itself. And then you can run the installer which is in the downloaded folder. Uh, the tool will automatically compile and install itself. After you do it, you'll be able to use the eb command. The first command we will run with the eb tool is eb init. This will connect our local directory to the AWS cloud environment. We will specify the region we want to deploy our application to. And the first time uh, we run the EB tool, it will also ex uh, ask us for access key in order to log into the, the AWS account. We can generate a new access key in my security credentials. In the access keys part, we can create a new access key. We need to download the key file which contains the key itself. And then we will supply the access key ID and the key from the downloaded key file into the eb tool command. When the eb2 is logged in, it will ask us for the application name. We'll specify our new name. It will detect that we're using Docker. So instead of asking us which Docker, which type of application we want to deploy, we can just confirm that we want to deploy a Docker type application. We also may uh, set up SSH access to our instances. I highly uh, um, rec 
recommend it but for this demo we will skip it if we use a local docker file to deploy our application we can take advantage of the ebu local command to test everything locally we can run our docker container with eb local run which will build uh, the docker image for us and run a container out of this image running by our server with our application we can test that the application is running with eb local open command which will open the browser with our application in order to deploy our application we first need to create an environment to deploy to we will do it with the eb create command actually this command will also deploy our application to the newly cre created environment so we'll specify the name of the environment we can leave it as default and all the other things as default and the command can now continues by uploading our image our files our docker file and the application to the elastic beanstalk environment which was created as the environment is being created and the application is de being deployed we can verify the status also in the aws console if we navigate to services and to the Elastic Beanstalk service you can see that the Pyrar app application is created and it contains one environment we can click on the environment and we see that it's being created once uh, the environment is created and the application is deployed we can access it with the URL specified in the, admin cons uh, in the uh, management console by now you should be able to run your application with a PyR server or PyR micro docker container in AWS cloud. We only covered deploying uh, an application using the docker file but it's also possible to deploy an existing docker image that is uh, pushed into a, a docker registry. This is covered in our detailed Docker guide for using PyR platform with Docker in, uh, in AWS Cloud. You can find it uh, as well as many other resources in a special dedicated page about PyR platform and Docker.